Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Neuromic, and welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City and our City Folk. It's Sunday morning. I start work in like an hour and a half, so we're getting a little bit quirky. Um, it is also October, so we have letters and what have you. But yeah, I start work in an hour and a half. So, um, I'm cranking this one out because it's Sunday, and I promised that I can't push it off anymore. We need to make our turnip profits. I'll read these the two letters in a sec. But, yeah, no, we need to make our turnip profits. I need to be relatively quiet because uh, people, they're open about, they're just still half asleep, and I will be maced if I make too much noise at such an ungodly hour. I, I know, I know, shocker, we talked about early morning episodes. Boo. I know your greatest fear came true. But yes, no, in case you're unaware, we said that this episode would be the one where we, um, for lack of a better term, gamble an exorbitant amount of money on the tournament market and hope it turnips a profit. Yeah, I just have to make sure that the turnips don't expire worthless and we make it out arguably better worse for wear, depending on what Joan would like to cut us deal-wise. So, when I say that we're like a little bit fucked if Joan's feeling them mean, I mean it. Anyway, welcome back to Nintendo Toffee Bell Point. Feels weird to withdraw something. 607,000, I'm happy to play with. Well, and ironically, we calculated that we needed about four times this amount, so I am actually willing to pull out the full 500,000, but I'm going to start with 200,000, purely because we don't know what she's going to be charging. So if, if it's like stupid high, we just mitigate our profits, and also it keeps our pockets fairly clean, so we can go put turnips as and where we need to. And um, now the main issue is, Joan, where are you? So fishing tawny, fishing tawny, yawn. Um, where is Joan then? Like, don't get me wrong, I'll keep searching for the money rock and stuff, I'll do all my regular stuff in the back of my head, but we find Joan, we dump the turnips, so that's about it. I'm gonna cut this episode relatively short for clear reasons. I have had breakfast, but I still need to get dressed and do other things that people do in the morning. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, yeah, I need really to catch up on videos, and then work was like, hey, you wanna come for three days? And I was like, yeah. Sure. I mean, I, I didn't actually agree, but they threw me in for three days back to back, which was fun. Until, you know, a video stuff caught up with me, along with university. You know, I'm surprised we're still managing to keep the balance act, even if it does mean the second channel is more neglected than the average child line after, but hey. <laughs> I, I will admit I procrastinated a little yesterday. I was in at 9 yesterday. No, 9.30. And, uh, <laughs> you can tell it's been a day because I've already forgotten. And I was in for like two and a half hours before they said, yeah, this is dead and we've got two people on and you were working last night? F off. So, um, I did. And I... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you think you could get away? From me? No. No. It's nine... Well, whatever the time is. 9.27? Okay, a bit of heading game, but still. Um, we're, uh... We'll, we'll make do. We just gotta find we gotta find the turnip lady so we can make some profits. That's genuinely all I want to do this episode. Turnip lady, put the turnips in a nice place. Don de estas success. You okay. We fucked around with you before, but this is the first time we're throwing serious money into it, so. Wait, hello there, I've been selling turnips here for Sunday mornings for about 60 years now. For turnips, come see old Joan. I'm gonna take this screenshot as a reminder that I'm Probably a bit fucked. So white turnips is what we want. So say the asking price is 91 bells per turnip. Is that good? Mm -hmm. oh, now there's only one way to find out. Is 91 bells per turnip. But good, I had to type around my thing. Um, oh. Oh shit. Okay, so the general advice is, um, they seem to travel mostly between 90 to 110. So if you're on the lower end of that, you're in business. Oh, good. I'm buying. <laughs> um, I hear that's good then, according to a guide for New Horizons. Um, so, hmm, we can buy a lot, so if we just buy... Oh, we could buy 900 turnips, I'm just not sure how well that'd end, but... So you want 900, that comes to exactly 81k? Oh, good lord. Can't hold that many turnips, want to buy a few less? Yes, please. Okay, so we, we kind of stacked. How about 500? Um, so you want 500, that comes to exactly that much. Okay. This is going to be a while, isn't it? So, how many are we getting per stack? Just Joan out of interest? Oh, okay, so 100 per stack, which means... Right, yes, this is... This causes a little bit of a problem, because I think... Our actual best course of action is to go have those fossils assessed, so nook along with the gyroid, so then we can carry a bit more per float. But 91. All that means now, right, um... 
if daylight savings and the daylight savings is on Halloween this year, so I don't need to worry about having to correct for that. Um, because if you time travel at all, Joan chops your hand off. Um, so like all your turnips immediately spoil, but I need to check in as frequently as I can throughout the week to find a day where I can just sell to Nook. And yeah, 91. It's like the game was like, it, it, it's like the game woke up this morning and thought, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna play nice. And um, <laughs> I will take it. I will take it. Just gonna, I'm gonna make sure our, our, our pockets are as free as possible and then we are going to coat the inside of our house with turnips. I, just, I, I could stash them away in the dresser and I think that could be better is the thing. Cause I, like, I know leaving them around outside can attract ants and stuff, which like, you only ever want to do that if you're going for your museum collection. So, bearing that in mind, it would make, it would make the utmost sense if I threw my dresser out with just pure fear of fucking up. And I'll say, right, you, you are, are made of literal paper. Like, what, what is this? I raised you to be better than this. You weaklings. Better be here when I'm on my turnip fucking profit margin year, like, 91 bells, apparently that's like the lowest they like to go, usually. Again, we just we just need to pray that Nook is feeling benevolent. I'll check in as best I can, and I can't promise I'll get a good price, but... Let's think, doubling this money would give us... 1 million, so free 500,000, or... But that would be a couple pieces of furniture or something. Like, the fact... I, I... It wouldn't sit right on my conscience if... I didn't dump all my money into it this episode. Because well, the thing is, is if I know there's like genuine like chance I get a legendary turnip price, I gotta take it. The thing is, is it's like how much will I earn? Like, let's say, uh, yeah, let's say in 50%, that's still like, um, I don't know what the upper bound of Nux thing is, well, let's say if we get like the conservative rest, but say 150, that's like at least a decent enough percentage to say, okay, this was worth it. And there's my phone's morning restart, disturbing my recording yet again. Um, although, yeah, no, it's been delayed recently. Um, it was meant to go at half nine, um, and power off, but, um, you're two minutes late, phone, you're being, you're being strange, I have my eye on you. Okay, yeah, well, uh, we'll go point these and come back in, I guess. Weird little episode, but, yeah, I'll take it. Need to find that money rock as well, because we need to... Any money we can throw at Joan, we're throwing at Joan. Like, that's... That's that's the type of, like, situation we got here, you know? So, bap, 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 bap. I'm sure that looks absolutely delightful. Can't do that bad. You're just, just mean, aren't you? Hate me specifically, game. Me specifically. <gasps> it's fine. I guess I'll just go back into Nooks and buy more flowers. Well, yes, I could spend flowers on bells. I realised that sentence was backwards as I was saying it, still committed. Um, oh, you have candy. Yeah, we need to do Halloween this year and we need to clean up. I think I might live stream it actually, make that a wishy live streamed episode because we've got a lot of candy stocked up as the thing. So we will, we will see. And since that reminds me, we have an extra free slot. So if we, if we, if we do choose to live stream Halloween this year or just have an extra long episode where we um, do our candy shenanigans, depends if I go out or what have you. Um, we all just, because we have a dresser full of candy, it's the only other thing we use dresses for, but like, old furniture, Christmas stuff, I can't bother, be bothered wasting a few thousand bells on each year to rebuy, stuff like that. But um, yeah, with any luck, I think, I think this should be a success. 90 bells a turnip, like, it's Nintendo, they wouldn't make it a statistical impossibility for you to, you know, turn a profit on some turnips. The thing is, we're gonna have to make a lot of trips back and forth. I wish there was like quick storage, but there isn't. It's fine. We'll make it work in the name of in the name of the sweet set, we gotta make this work. Even the smallest thing, like, even if we get four hundred bells, that's nine percent. Right? That is astronomically good because that's fifty thousand. And it takes us how many episodes to win fifty thousand? That's like two episodes shaved off. Which, honestly, we don't, we want more than 100 belt selling price because that would just account for this episode where we don't go selling things. So anything beyond 50,000 though is like, uh, it's one of those moments where you raise your eyebrow and you go like, okay, 
Okay, and I think this one is the money rock then. Process of elimination, question mark? Oh, thank you, okay. And because we're back against the wall, that should mean we get everything. I'm just gonna spam my C button on my nunchuck. It's like the old reliable way to make sure I actually get everything. <laughs> and no shinies. Genuinely no shinies. Well, let's put it, we are the only like 10 minutes ish into the recording, and we are <laughs> somehow miraculously yet to actually um <laughs> deposit a single lot of turnips. Like we've got we've got a lot of turnips to do. If anything, I might just call the episode short. And then, um, like, do off camera and just speed run it. Like, forego, forego, you know, speaking. Like, 9.35-ish right now. Again, the clock runs a little bit ahead in game, so. Just run the same. Hey, if you're a gyroid, you're getting reburied. Well, oh, man, my word. Yeah, it's 9.35, which means I got... Hour 25, 6 25 minutes to walk. So I've got an hour to play with. Ideally, I would like to have this export before I leave for work, but it's... It's all rather manageable. Rowan, we don't have the time. I'm a businessman today. <laughs> I'm a businessman today, he says. Either way, I'm going to look up City Folk turnip prices because, look, we got we to we we make this recording spicy. Of course, we got to do one upstairs. So, ACCF Turnips Guide. And because this game came out in 2008, there'll be a handy form guide to help instead of a thing. Okay, Guide to Turnips Game Facts. Oh, it's a gloriously fucking day today, I love it. <laughs> what the fuck am I meant to do with it then, game? Do I just... Well, I guess... I guess you guys live up here now. Hopefully you like the, um... Decor. It is very... Particularly... Appealing. Okay, seriously, all that much effort to just walk in here and throw some turnips down? We are horrific. Okay, so... City Folk's Guide from Game Facts. Credit to Mr. Underscore Turnip from 13 years ago for being... Mwah. Okay, prices can vary from... 999 bells to 20 bells. And then, yeah, sell by next Sunday, which is fine. It's like, I I, got, I don't got no commitment issues. We, we live. Um, okay, so is there any strategy? What's, what's the average thing? Yeah, but, okay, the, you know, Mr. Turnip, I, I don't have the brain capacity to read your whole thing and just, like, basically just, you know, regurgitate it like some sort of weird bird man. Lovely mental image for you there, I'm sure. But, white turnips, we want more stuff. So, I'm buying it. Still 91, which is great. Hopefully you don't change your price. So, how much is 900? Just, oh, oh, 990? Sure. Oh, I can't hold that many turnips. How, right, how many can I carry then? Actually, I'm betting up, betting up. I'm gonna do the impossible. I'm gonna become broke, baby. Look, it's all in the name of efficiency today. If we need to spend money to make money, so be it. None of that's just gonna spoil. Gimme my honey. My honey! Right, I'm buying. And 900 flat turnips. I don't think 990 is. 990's just got some, like, mad, bad mojo about it, you know? 81,000? Sure. This is gonna take exorbitantly long, isn't it? So, what's, like, the general price thing for turnips, then? Okay, there's no official place to store your turnips. Store them in your house. They take a lot of rooms. So you might want to limit the amount that you buy if you want to keep your home decorative. The entire point of this is so I can decorate my home, Mr. Underscore Turnip from Game Facts from 13 years ago. And, oh, okay, Joan can be a pain to find. Imprison her if you want to make buying any easier. Okay, Mr. Turnip flew off the rails. And... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Shout, shout out Mr. Turnip. But I don't know what the, um... I don't know. The... Th <laughs> I don't know. Why DK? Alright, can I... So how many of you can I fit down? Do I have enough space in here to store all of you? Like, will I cap out? Will the game physically tell me, yeah, no more turnips for you, ho? And then punch me in the jawline? Because if so, that'd be really funny. And I can probably put turnips on YouTube short and get like a few subs off it. But, um, yeah, okay, they've capped me out. This room's full. This is, it's not a gangster's paradise, it's a turnips paradise. Okay. So, that's not particularly great. Um, no, but they didn't exactly say what the average price for turnips is. Which is, like, mildly alarming, so we're just gonna... Wait, I need to, you know, we'll just, we'll just go find Joan again. I'm pretty sure I still have a bundle left in my inventory, but it's fine, because we can make it work. Wishful thinking, I know. 
but I am being messaged by my good friend Roham, um, asking me if I would like to call right now. It's, um, <laughs> it's not working out. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to turn him down, but I'll console him by saying that I'm about to record ACCF, so I'll be good in the world. Anyway, your little customer is back, that's right, I'm hoeing myself out for turnips. Yes. Okay, bunches of ten, you say? I'll take nine hundred. Like, I'm single-handedly keeping this lady's business in business. I feel like I'm doing a good deed. Yeah, it's like a charity, innit? Although the episode where we sell these is gonna be questionable best. It's like... <laughs> oh god, the episode where we sell these is gonna be chaotic, basically. Although... Quick game of thought. Yep, that's a sentence that left my mouth there. Yeah, quick game of thought for you all. Um, I should be able... Keyword should. Uh, I should be able to withdraw the rest of the money from my bank. At least like a comfortable amount. And then because we're only buying a bunch of 900 and that's not fully filling up our inventory, we can afford to have the money bags dangling around in there. So we'll all be good in the world. We're just gotta take forever to empty our pockets first. It's like, <laughs> the pirate music really doesn't lend itself well to this. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm just gambling my life savings away. You could say I'm from Wall Street Bats. Um, and then it's like, it's like, oh, they're already taking up so much space in this room. Oh. If, if I walk out of here with, like, a payday, too preferably, that's the best one, like, I will, I will be rather chuffed with myself. Like, trust me, like, once I save, right, this is like, this is like signing a contract with the devil, trademark. Like, th this is like legally binding. Once I sign on the dotted line... I gotta sell these fucking turnips. Anyway, hello, fella. I'm gonna withdraw. Okay, so we're gonna withdraw exactly 400k. The reason for this is quite precise. It's not actually, I just picked that value because I think it will be nice. No, it's because we can buy exactly five more lots of turnips with that amount, and I think it's just nice to have a few tens of thousand left over if we get completely financially destroyed. Like, even if we do get completely killed, how bad would it be? Like, it would be two-ninths of our original investment. And that's, what, 22%? So that's... that's only a 78% loss. That's not too bad. Like... <laughs> it's only, only a 78% loss, he says. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. Anyway, um, do we have any more space to carry more efficiency-wise? We do. I'll take 300 more. I know, look at me. Look at me being all efficient in this, ain't it? I'm buying. How many do I want? I think. Well, if they come in stacks of 100, then I'll take 300. And I'll tell you, let me look. We've 100,000 bells done like that. How much effort did that take to do? Um, I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna just quickly spread the good word that I am, in fact, recording ACCF. I am one-handing this nunchuck, could you tell? Um, L yeah, ACCF, um, or oh, spacebar, or oh, oh, oh. uh, there was no space. Uh, there we are. Okay. That was... It was way more physical exertion than it needed to be. I think my body may just hate me. I'm gonna lie down and weep in a corner. <laughs> Either way, with that strategy of buying um, what is essentially 1,200 turnips per trip, that cuts down our turnip yield. No, it increases our turnip yield by a fair bit, actually. So I will... Oh, I'm okay, running, running out of turnip space already. Ugh, average turnip here mistake. But um, yeah, no, I think we're pretty, like, set for this is the thing. All we gotta do is just keep throwing these down, move into the basement, throw them down in there. Like, we have enough space to do this. We may not have enough you know, sanity to pull this off, but you know, Lord forbid, next episode, this is going to be the most condemning, damning thing ever. It's like, luckily I don't need to at least worry about it while I'm at work. I'm not at work until, I don't know, but I probably want more working. I, I work when there's something on, so, <laughs> and weekend next, so I have the whole week kind of free-ish, except for the mornings where I'm not available, where I'm just gonna have to pray I don't get cooked. Um, Joan, please take my money. Um, I would, I like to think I can check pretty much every time Nook has an offer on at the minimum in the afternoon. Again, we don't, the issue is, is that, um, the issue is, is if I miss a day and that's like the peak day, we just, we're just going to have to sell for a small gain. But, if Nook so fancies to be 
a little, a little bit of a cherub, a little bit of a, a little meow meow, if you will. Um, that's gonna be very nice. Like if I if I catch him on the right day, that would actually be like that would be beautiful. <laughs> like I think I think I would actually cry. Because the thing is, I never touched this, for good reason. Hey, I forgot, be waking up early on a Sunday if I'm not working is difficult. And, see. It's kind of scary being able to make this much money. Again, I'm just trusting what Mr. Underscore Turnip from GameFAQ says, but if I can buy these turnips and sell them for ten times profit, that's like five million. That's like most loans in the game. If not all of them. And then the, you know, town fund from like... 500k it's like that's not it's not normal please do not do that dot gif you know it's it's, it's one of those things <laughs> um <laughs> so we just we gotta really i like to tread carefully because the thing is it made us too rich in new horizons then it became weird when i actually needed to start working for money because in case you don't keep up with the new horizon series there was literally an episode the other day where it kind of dawned on me oh our money isn't as high as i thought it was and it was, it was a very first worldy problem section because it's like, oh, well, now I can't buy the $7,000 jacuzzi that's in the nook store for the day. <laughs> anyway, come on, Joan, we can do this. Like, how many how many free slots have we got? Because I, I, we can probably increase now. How many bags are going down? At 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Which means that we can now bump it up to 500. Potentially 600, depending on how much we sell. So that's... Now it could cover it. Now it probably won't cover us. We probably need to do two more trips, but Oh, it feels it feels so weird. I've got this this sinking feeling of dread. Despite the fact the internet is telling me that 91 bells is like a legendary turnip price, no matter the, the game. Part of me's just thinking, what if in City Folk it's slightly different? And that's what you call anxiety, kids. <laughs> okay, well that comes to exactly 81,000. I'll buy. And I think we'll buy, I think we'll buy exactly 900 more and call it there and not get any more and just kind of have an extra few thousand clicking around. Um, just peace of mind. But yeah, it's like, oh, I just, I need to make sure that I'm on it. Starting tomorrow morning, I need to be on it. And the thing is, is you will see me recording when, <laughs> um, <laughs> when said morning occurs. And it's like, I just... It scares me to think what the outcome of this could be in like an extremely negative issue puzzle like because we spent a while saving that up it, it it's like it, you know it's like this is the same dread of gambling away your life savings on a meme stock except it's it's it, it actually is non-existent at this time and do we have can we just run straight back one two three four five six seven yeah okay we can go back and buy exactly 900 call it there throw them in the basement where they belong Thumbs up emoji, life is good, etc, etc. <sighs> the, again, it's, it's the trepidation of doing this because it's not, it's not official yet. It's not official until I press save. And when I do, I know I'm just going to have a feeling of, uh, in my stomach. Because in New Horizons, you always, always have the fail safe of, but somebody else will have good prices to sell on right now, so long as you haven't left it weak already. But, I don't think anyone is going to be opening their gates because they've got a good turnip price on looking city folk. I don't think anyone ever did that, and if they ever did, I doubt they're still doing it. So, is that, this is, oh, this is a big omen. But, in Joan we trust, she's been generous, according to the internet. And I'm just gonna hope and pray that, that generosity is repaid by Nook. But with that, I'm gonna end this one here before my stomach proceeds to consume itself whole. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. It lets me know what to see more of this and all that good stuff. I'll actually leave this last amount in my pockets because it just means we can go directly into selling and it skips having to mess around with stuff in the basement. So let's, uh, let's just go to bed and hope these guys aren't spoiled the time below the next time. <laughs> Hello, the. Actually, you know what? You know what? We'll, we'll take we'll take some screenshots just for the just for the one time. Did we? Did we save the last screenshot? By the way, I don't know if we did, but I'll um we'll save to an SD card anyway. 
It is going up, by the way. Next milestone, we're going to have a uh, NSD card, like, browsing episode, but... <laughs> oh, we'll do it for the next one, too, but... <laughs> oh, God. It looks so ridiculous. It looks so ridiculous. So that's why we're taking two. And you know, we'll stand in. We'll stand in. We'll stand in the. We'll stand in the wheat. <laughs> nope, not that. Nah, nah, nah. Safe photo. But I think with that, we're done. So yeah, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're notified when the uh, the inevitable result episode comes out after this. And until next time, lot said. All that aside. <laughs> Here's the hoping, and thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Naramic, and peace out.